module for asymmetrics of directional coupler so last video is two hole directional coupler and working in barnum now other asymmetrics derive directional coupler is a four port device that means other matrix is four by four matrix so s is equal to our four by four matrix either next conditions apply to you condition uh, directional coupler and the varayana the ella ports matched on insert in the ella ports and matched on ports matched on in the varayana s11 s22 s33 s44 are diagonally where in the ella elements in zero on pin on the parnu mughalam thariyam where in the ports isolated on the varnu means number consider the figure is a turn angle port one Port 3 is isolated port and same way port 2 port 4 is isolated. Aana. So that is S13 is equal to S31 which is equal to S24 is equal to S42 is equal to 0. 3 ports, 3 coefficient is equal to 0 aana. and the reason is that the isolated ports. Aana. Then S matrix is property at the property second property in the way the symmetric property on sig is equal to sji in an angle how symmetric condition which it is the s12 is equal to s21 s13 is equal to s31 s14 is equal to s41 s23 is equal to s32 s24 is equal to s42 s34 is equal to s43 so if you want to learn all condition in which it is a matrix in the form j Diagonal elements are 0, isolated ports are 0, and symmetric and serious rename. So, that's equation 5. Then, unitary property we say that S in the S conjugate is equal to I. So, S matrix is equal to corresponding conjugate matrix is equal to identity matrix. Then multiply J R1 C1 multiply J first row in first column Tamil multiply J then you will be getting as S12 square plus S14 square is equal to 1 then R2 C2 J first matrix in the row in second matrix in the column Tamil multiply J second matrix in the second column Tamil multiply J then you will be getting as S12 square plus S23 square is equal to 1 then R3 C3 is equal to S23 square plus S34 square is equal to 1. Then at the we will use the condition R1 C3. First matrix in the first row. Second matrix in the third column. Multiply J. Then you will be getting as S12 into S23 conjugate plus S14 into S34 conjugate is equal to 0. So four equations. Now equations in the equation. Then equation 6 and 7 and the compare here. Then S14 is equal to S23. Same way equation 7 and 8 and compare here. S12 is equal to S34. So, this is what we have done in the different types of T's. Then we have done in the direction of the couple. This is what we have done. Let S12 is equal to S34 is equal to P where P is a positive and real number which is equal to S34 conjugate this e condition assume G that is the equation 9 this base the equation number 12 in base the base the P into S23 conjugate plus S14 is equal to 0 S14 in the way S23 so this e equation again rearrange the P into S23 conjugate plus S23 is equal to 0 P in the variable is a positive and real number, so P cannot be 0. S23 conjugate plus S23 is equal to 0. That means S23 in the variable it must be an imaginary number. So let S23 is equal to S14 is equal to JQ assume GA. Imaginary number assume GA p square plus q square is equal to 1 no i can this condition we assume g in positive uh, positive number item we assume g on imaginary number item assume g on again and again and the matrix in the bar in the 0 p 0 j q in the value s23 the value s14 the value p the value and just a substitute here 
then you will be getting the final matrix as 0, P, 0, J, Q, P, 0, J, Q, 0, 0, J, Q, 0, P, J, Q, 0, P, 0. This is S matrix of a directional coupler.